Okay, so this is a grass-fed beef four quarter. We got this from actually our hog farmer, Lancito Cartwright from Peaceful Pork. They just started to run some grass-fed cattle through their pig paddocks, uh, and they're starting to do grass-fed beef. Uh, I, last time I talked to Lancito, he had just gotten back from this uh, genetics conference in Alabama and they were talking a lot about grass-fed beef and micronutrients and he's really excited about it and we're excited to try it out. So the first thing I did was took off the shank at the joint. The next thing I'm taking off the brisket, uh, kind of outlined it there and then I started peeling it back like that as you can see right there off of the forequarter that's just off the bottom of the ribs. Kind of right where the f uh, front leg is, right, right on the armpit. So I'm just going to kind of continue to peel this thing off and then it's going to come off in one piece and then we'll break the rest of it down. Bunch of our grass-fed beef from Lancito. I've got a couple beef ribs individually cut. I've got a shank. I've got some of these which are uh, ribeye. And I took the spinalis off uh, and I tied it back around it. These are those ribeye pieces I think are gonna be really good. Okay, about four hours later, these grass-fed beef uh, ribeyes are coming off as you can see. Uh, they're nice and crusty. They look really good. Plenty of smoke on them. I was temping them around 120, 120, 121. This one's a little further along, 128, 129. So yeah, they're smelling great. They definitely smell like grass-fed beef. They've got a little bit of funkiness to them, a little bit of grassiness to them, but they just look incredible. I'm gonna go inside and cut one up. All right, beautiful, delicious, spinalis wrapped, grass-fed ribeye from Lancito. Boned out, butchered ourselves. Smoked till about 120. Probably rested up to like 125. How does it smell, Pat? It smells pretty dang good. It does smell you can smell the grass fed in there for sure. Yeah, like a little lamby, a little funky. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's see it. Oh, look at the color. Damn. Oh my God, look at the color on that. One and one? Yeah.
Dude, the fat, the color of the fat is ridiculous. It's like so yellow. Oh! God, it looks so good. transfer it with the scraper. You want to cut up the end piece there in there too? You know, that's how we should be cutting them off. Probably about that thickness or just a tiny bit thicker and then we can cross cut them like that. Just so okay. it's easy to use. No, you finish it. You're the first hands are going to be the last. So, bitch. <laughs> All right, bud. Ooh. Ooh. You try that sweet Asian goodness. It smells good. I bet you love it because you're Asian. <laughs> I look at He's like Asian. everything but Asian. No, I'm like 3% Filipino. Really? Yeah, 23 and me is like a fucking rainbow. Yeah, it's bad. No, for the one. He's a winner. Winner, winner, drinking dinner right here. Ooh, and you got that mid-rear spot. Damn, dude. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm, that one is out of control. Like <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Yeah. Is it better with that? Yeah. We only ended up selling one of those loins, so Brad sliced up the other one when it got cold. He did it on a YouTube live stream, so that was really cool. And we ended up with this big, nice pile of roast beef, so we did a big roast beef sandwich with it with these really nice Dijonese marinated onions and some horseradish sauce. Watch me just drop it all. Beautiful meat mountain.